everyone and welcome to this video and if you're new welcome to my channel today i have a special guest with me here it's my sister she, it's been a while since you were here on my channel yeah, it's been a while yes hi everyone <laughs> and i promise i will try to get her here more often but today we are actually going to show you our least favorite products last year 2017 the products we didn't like and products we just want to forget about <laughs> that didn't work for us no, they mm -hmm. didn't work for us. And if they work for you, that's great. Uh, the makeup works differently on different people. So that's why I love watching other YouTubers uh, talking about products, telling why, uh, yeah. what make products work uh, or not work on them. I have so many products that I love on other channels that people don't like at all. And I was surprised, but that's the makeup and that's our different opinions. So. Here, if you want to see what products we want to talk about, the products we didn't like, it didn't work for us, please keep on watching. Okay, yeah, uh, you can start. Of course, um, as you probably know, watching Ida's channel, she does receive the glossy box every month, so does, does, do I. And uh, one month we did receive this banana setting powder oh. uh, from, let's see, the brand is Bella Pierre, I think. Uh, and I, I, this is not a bad powder at all, but it's it's too yellow. It's for I, I guess it's for darker skin tones. For for my skin tone, this just doesn't work. I also got that powder, and I think I talked about that one on my channel. And I didn't like it because it was too yellow, but also it is an expensive powder. So I don't know. I think Revolution Makeup Revolution setting powders work better. Banana powders. Yeah, I do think so too. Okay, you're talking about powder. I'm going to show a powder that I really didn't like. This is LA Girl Pro Powder, high definition setting powder. Now it's fine milled. It looks very nice, but it, the powder gets everywhere. I don't know if you can see it on camera, but it's, yeah, everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> and the worst thing, it's flashback. I, I once took a picture after using this and I had like white cast under my eyes it, it looked terrible and it kind of made my under eye area look very dry so I don't like it and I'm not going to keep this one the thing I didn't like is this uh, I got this not long time ago so I didn't use it the whole year of 2017 but I used it enough to say that I don't like it and this is the green color corrector from Everyday Minerals and I am not a big fan of using minerals at all because I just don't know how to use them. And this color corrector, when you when I have some spots on, you just want something to put directly on your spot that's, that makes it disappear under the foundation. But this I don't know how to use because I feel that the whole area around the spot is green you can color correct it but the, the spot is still showing through the foundation and it feels when I have foundation over this this it feels like I can see the green under it so I'm not a big fan of this I'll try a cream co color corrector which I don't own I hope you if you have any ideas or anything you think I can try so please write it down below in the comments and I will see it try it but this mineral no big no 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 <laughs> I um, talked about this I think I also did a whole video for this product this is halamide, halamide pore del delete instant surface perfecter that I really don't know how to use and I did try it a couple of times after that video and it just looks terrible I tried to use it under the foundation like it says but when I put the foundation on, the foundation doesn't stay, it just moves on, just moves around and it looks cakey and it looks terrible and then it flakes, flakes and I don't like it at all. I try to use it over a foundation, my foundation that just disappeared on those places, I couldn't make it even. It's just a terrible product, sounds wonderful, sounds amazing and I do have big pores that I want to cover but it just didn't work and I'm going to put that video down below, link to that video down below or a card up here. You can watch it if you're interested to see more details and uh, the things that I tried to try make this work, but it just didn't. The other thing that didn't work for me is this 
cream blush stick from Makeup Revolution. Now, uh, I love Makeup Revolution as a brand. They have very good uh, eyeshadow palettes. I do collect them, uh, but especially those uh, chocolate, the chocolate bars. But this cream revolution blush stick, I just don't like it. I feel like it's a beautiful color. It's very pigmented, but at the same time, it's really oily and I have oily skin and I feel like I can never blend it so it's even on my face and it's just I just don't like it and I feel like feel greasy and those days that I have no makeup I just want something on my cheeks I try to use this and I just feel like I look at like a clown no matter how little I put it on my face it just looks way too much because it's just way too pigmented it's not hard to blend but it's as you can see but it, the color is way too strong so for me this just doesn't work I don't like cream sting sticks nothing cream highlighters I just don't like those kind of things so this is a pass and while I'm talking about the cream sticks I will take one more thing and this is the cream blush palette we got from glossy box mm. I think you talk about it uh, on your channel it's air base high pigmentation color cosmetics these colors are so beautiful that are as I can see three blushes one highlighter very pigmented very very pretty but at the same time it's cream product just doesn't work for me I actually like that palette and I don't have any problems with, with that one I don't like the highlighter though I don't like it it looks too glittery and I don't like it but I do like that product mm -hmm. I got this lip lipo seals it's uh, eyelash conditioner gel with liposomes I think I pronounced that right. It, this is supposed to make your eyelashes grow faster and do amazing things to your lashes. I hate it. I used it for two months. I think I there is some product in here left, but I just didn't see anything special. I d didn't see my eyelashes grow. I didn't see them look fuller. I didn't see them. I didn't see any changes. So. I think this was also expensive. I heard many people liking this product, but it just didn't work for me. Then I saw Wayne Goss, I think you pronounce his name like that, talking about the Ordinary Foundation. He was raving a lot about it, how good, great this is. But this must be the worst foundation ever. It just didn't Wait. work for me. You I have it too. <laughs> yes. No matter what kind of primer uh, uh, I'm trying under this foundation it just doesn't work it looks so patchy and it doesn't stay on my face the whole day it's not that I look shiny or greasy with it it's just a foundation that you can see it just disappearing from part of my face and I just don't I don't think I look fresh using this foundation my face doesn't look good my makeup lo looks bad I don't like this I don't know if this works better for um, dry skin or normal skin, but I don't like this one. I'm sorry, Wayne Goss. I do trust you with the other things, but with this foundation, not good. Yeah, I had that foundation too for the exactly same reason. I had, but I didn't saw what her what product she brought with her. But I'm going to show another foundation that I actually don't like, and I did buy it, and it did cost a lot but I just can't make it work on my skin. And it's Marc Jacobs foundation. And I think it ha I have it in 32 beige light. Now, I bought it because Marlena, Makeup Geek's owner, loves this foundation. I bought this one. And it look makes my skin look too dry. And it breaks on my skin and it looks cakey after only an hour. And I did try to blend it with other foundation. I did try to use other primers because I know I talked with you on the phone mm -hmm. that I had problem with this foundation and you told me maybe this is the primer and I tried different primers I tried different powders over it I tried to blend it with face oil it just didn't work now I'm going to keep it because it costed a lot I'm going to keep it and like to compare it with other products but I'm not <laughs> going to use it I tried once to use because I kind of felt sorry for me paying so much for this foundation and I tried to wear it in a video and I deleted it. 
because you could see my skin looking horrible and dry and patchy and cakey so I don't recommend this if you have oily or combo skin while we are talking about foundation I have one more foundation that I didn't like and it's from Revlon color stay 24 hours many people rave about this foundation and it's not a bad foundation this shade doesn't match me at all but even if it, if it was the right shade I wouldn't like it and the only reason is because it doesn't stay on my face more than four hours and I, I need a foundation that holds it together for at least eight hours because I do put my makeup early in the morning I leave my kids to school or kindergarten I go to work eight hours and then I come home I still want to look good during the eight hours of working so I do need a foundation that keeps me looking good during the day so to say uh, but this one just doesn't do it for me I kind of like that foundation and it's I do have yeah, I know two you said, shades you, I know you said that you love it yes. and you were the one who recommended this for me but as I said on my skin mm. and even if we both of us have combination to, to oily skin it's still some of the products that works mm. for her doesn't work for me so I don't know why that is but we are different people with different skin types and uh, yeah I this just didn't do it I don't know what to say about this concealer. This is a concealer from e.l.f. It has uh, like a concealer in one si on one side and highlighter on the other side. I think I used this last year in a video that I had that I did. I think I was using whole face only e.l.f. makeup. Uh, doesn't have any coverage at all. I mean if I put more of this concealer I just look cakey this highlighter and it smells terrible this highlighter it's a joke it it really is a joke I mean uh, uh, yeah I, I don't want to talk about it more I just think this is a terrible concealer I don't recommend it I love elf's products many of them are my favorite but I just don't like this one. I don't see the purpose. Even if you, if you're using a concealer, you want it to cover something. If you, if you, even if you don't want full coverage, you want it to work, just a little bit. This doesn't work at all. Stay away from it. <laughs> now I do have one concealer that I don't like. I haven't used it for maybe four or five months, and it's this for 007 Skin Fresh Concealer. It's so bad. It creases so bad it ages me like five years <laughs> it looks so 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 bad the color is okay uh, use it i will look younger <laughs> it's it's yeah it's a cheap concealer it's not expensive at all it's okay coverage i wouldn't say it's bad coverage it's totally okay it's not full coverage but it's light to medium coverage but it it looks so cakey just after one hour or so it just no 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 I, I never throw out makeup I never throw makeup I just throw it when it's too old this one is going to trash because there's no way I can use this ever again I look so much older using this so no 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 that's not what we want okay this is a lip balm I think I talked about this in my video I got it in glossy box I love the packaging and I tried to use it every night and I did use it every night to make my lips look smoother and fresh this is so thick it smells nice it smells candy this is so thick it stays like I can't say it feels like you have ton of product on the lips and in the morning it's still on the lips so it didn't make them moisturized or make my lips feel softer it's just a disaster I don't like it I'm not going to finish it I try to finish it but I'm not going because I have other products that work much better I don't know what what brand it is it just it just says beauty made easy lip balm I haven't and seen it I got it in glossy box four months ago and I did try to use it because I like the packaging it's cute I like the smell of it it's just a terrible product uh, now while we are talking about lip products I have some lip glosses that I don't really like and it's from Anastasia Beverly Hills it came as a set so
some shiny with some glitter sparkles inside and there comes came some like looking like liquid lipsticks now these with sparkles they are not full color on the lips how how should i explain it's just a lip gloss with some shine with some color this one i have on my lips today you can wear it over a lipstick or under lipstick they smell amazing they are not too tacky they don't move around and i do do love them and uh, also this this is the shade uh, metallic rose and i have the other one that's more peachy this is called weekend barbie and it's also shiny and glittery lip balm looks very pretty during the summer i do do love this but there are some that looking lip glosses looking like liquid lipsticks with no sparkles on it they are so pigmented which is good but they are so how should i say it it's not a liquid lipstick that's satin finish this is a lip gloss which you get the not the tacky feeling but you get the moisturized feeling having a red lip gloss with this color pigmentation it just moves everywhere you get it everywhere if i take a glass of water drinking wearing this it's, it looks like i would kissed my husband for five minutes i mean it really looks like i got this everywhere i was about to go shop with my daughter and i had this on me i just felt like everybody was staring my daughter was mom you have lipstick everywhere on your face and it was so embarrassing <laughs> I love those looking a little bit sheer colored. There are more glossy and more like glitter sparkles in it, which is so pretty over lipsticks or very alone. But this, with this pigmentation, this moisturizing, I just didn't like it. I don't have really a lip product here, but I have an I have eye product. And I have two, I, I will say the same product, but two different brands. I think I mentioned them in a one one of my other, vid other videos, but I have these, what are they called? For face and body glitter singles from Wet n Wild. Oh, you don't like those? Oh my God, look at the shades. Oh my God, the shades are so beautiful. When I saw them in store, I bought every shade of in, every shade. I have all the shades, they're so beautiful. I thought glitter on my eyes, yay. No. Oh my God, this is the worst product ever. This is children's, not even for children. Not even like a t children's toy thing. This is gel with some glitter in it. It moves around. You can't pat it on. Let me show you. I, I will take this shade. This is a beautiful red shade. Oh my God. But look, it, it's like a glit gel with some glitter in. You, you can't do like this because it moves around it doesn't look like you can't even see it you can't tap it it doesn't stay on the lid it moves around and i tried this a couple of times because and i tried to do a video with these swatching these and having a makeup look but it never worked because it ruined every eyeshadow that i had had on my eyes under it it's a gel it creases like hell it doesn't dry down at all it just moves around I don't like it. It feels like you put a glossy lipstick on your eye, eyes and you walk like that. I mean, this is a terrible pro product. So I saw uh, this in the store. This is a fest festive eye glitter casual brand. I don't know what brand it is. It's the first time. It's a drugstore brand. And I thought, okay, these are maybe better. It's exactly the same thing. I would throw these away. I'm sorry. I never throw make makeup. I just give, the give it away or... Uh, give it to someone that will appreciate products more than I if they are not bad But this is terrible. I don't want anyone to touch this again Why with and wild you have so many great products. This is a disaster. I have also an eyeshadow palette Which I bought two years ago. It's from Isadora and this came around holidays 2015 I think and they had had the same palette for 2016. I, I can be wrong. I don't know. I, I think it's two years old. I just wore it maybe twice. It's not a bad palette. The colors are pretty. I don't know if you can see the pigmentation. This one is just glitter and it's beautiful topper. Eyeshadow topper with some 
I don't know if you can see this, but it does give you some sparkle to your and eyeshadow. It's very pretty, but I feel like I have these colors in every other palette. The only reason why I'm keeping this is for this one topper because I don't have this in, in my other palettes. I am a palette collector. I have many eyeshadow palettes and this just doesn't inspire me. I feel like using this dr during the summer, it feels so wrong, even if I like cold eyeshadows during summer. I mean, there's no, there's no rules when you can wear makeup, but being like this, no. And just because it's an, a holiday palette and you feel like you can't use it during the summer, it's wrong because I just got the holiday palette from you from Colourpop all I see is magic I have it on my eyes today this is you can you can absolutely use this holiday palette for every eye look during summer fall spring no matter what time of the year but this one just feels wrong using it during the summer I don't know why the colors are there's nothing special with this palette so I don't hate it I just don't use it and yeah there's some better palettes out there so okay Okay. I don't have a palette here, but what I have is a product that I had for years. I think it's, oh my God, I will say four, nine, five years at least. It's uh, this Blink Heated Lash Curler. Sounds amazing. And uh, it looks nice. I, I don't remember what I paid for it. It was 100 years ago. First time I used it, I was scared because it's not too warm, but it gets warm, of course and it takes too long it does kind of work first two hours then my lashes go down like this it takes too long and i think the the other curl that i have the usual one takes like 30 seconds and i have my lashes all up all day this doesn't curl my lashes as i would like to and off even if i spend like 10 minutes with this which i don't recommend it just don't make them stay curled the whole day. So I don't like it and I will, won't recommend it. If you want an eyelash curler, take the regular one. You can buy it very cheap. This wasn't cheap and it's just a waste of money. And the last product I think as I'm looking in my box is this, um, I'm sorry, Benefit mascara. Why I'm saying I'm sorry to Ida is because she like does it. like this mascara. but. <laughs> I don't know if you watched other videos with me uh, in Ida's uh, videos. I I am picky when it comes to mascaras. There's just one mascara that I use. Other mascaras I'm just eh about. I, we got this in a glossy box and I thought, okay, benefit this mascara. Everybody's braving about it. The one is really pretty. Um, it, it looks good. It looks good. It's really black. It does look beautiful putting it on your lashes. I have it on my lashes today. <laughs> It's, it's really amazing, but there's just, after just a couple of hours, it's everywhere under my eyes. I look, someone just hit me in in the face. That's how I look after just a couple of hours. So I'm still like, nah, I'm keeping my old mascara. I'm just, I haven't still found anything that replaced that one. And um, I'm sorry, I did not like this one. Mascara that I didn't like and I don't think it's a surprise for anyone that watches my videos. It's better than sex mascara Too Faced The name I feel sorry for the guy that named this mascara because it's not <laughs> better This is the worst mascara I ever tried. It does make my lashes look phenomenal. They look Long they look full. They look beautiful black. I love how it looks but just for a second because it starts to f fade it makes my lashes heavy and it I look like a raccoon after 20 minutes <laughs> and it's so hard to wash off I just don't like it I also bought I think I did a video with that um, sweet peach collection or sweet peach blush I don't know I don't remember I didn't like this one so I bought waterproof because I thought that waterproof wouldn't do the same thing because I did look how it looks for two seconds but it's even worse so I don't, don't like this mascara at all. That was everything we had for you in this video, the product that didn't work for us. If they did work for you, I'm so happy they did. Please let us know what, what do you do that that product works for you, but it didn't work for us. I would really like to know. I am so happy that you are here today and we are actually going to film 
the products that did work for us. They are top 10 products we love and are going to use during 2018. So if you want to see that, subscribe to my channel. It's coming up soon, so you don't miss that video. And thank you so much for being here Thank with you me. for having me. And see you in my next video, guys. Bye. Bye.